when uh, the first time I saw the uh, beta blocker was when some of the uh, group members, by the way, I am Coyote, uh, the blind, and uh, I work with a group down uh, California in uh, Riverside. And when some of uh, my group members had come over here for a workshop with, uh, with um, the Institute, they brought me a beta blocker. I'd never seen it before and I hadn't read anything about it. And I put it on and immediately I feel the difference. Uh, it, um, it accelerates, it enhances, it makes the process of getting into other states of consciousness much easier and much more gentle uh, when you get into it. Let's, less of a bumpy ride. Oh, I like a bumpy ride. So I called, I, I think I talked to Jewel when I called back and, uh, or to Lee, I don't remember who it was, and I requested that EJ made a, a better enhancer to get back to my normal state. <laughs> I, I couldn't think. Was that you, Lee, that I talked to? Yeah. Any progress on that? <laughs> I still can't do any math or can't remember the names of my uh, fellow group members. I don't know where I am half of the time. I don't know what I'm doing. I wish I was clairvoyant. At least I would know where I am. I wish I had some precognition so I would know what I was going to say. That, was, that would save a lot of problems. But one of the things that I wanted to share with you, and I have written some of these uh, things that have been happening down at the, uh, at the uh, foundation in Riverside, is uh, we have been experimenting a lot with the beta blockers and the beacons. Um, my approach to all of this is very unconventional. I, I enter these uh, this areas of investigation from different perspectives, more of the uh, Toltec shamanic uh, path. And uh, the, the beacon, the first time I tried the beacon, was at our temple. And I put it on, and immediately I called uh, three of uh, three of uh, my students there, and we took a trip. Okay. They sat down, they put their seat belts on, and we started moving and shifting through the space. And I noticed that just with the intuitive nature of will and attention we were able to traverse different spaces uh, together. Each one of them wrote their experiences and they matched to the letter. I, I recognized right away that I had the makings of uh, an interdimensional vehicle that could be used to shift and travel through different worlds and different dimensions as well in a very safe way, very safe. In the, training that I had undergone before with a crazy Yaqui Indian in Mexico. It's all bumps and, and, and slammings against walls and worlds. This offers a very unique way to take people with some experience and, uh, and make a very safe uh, trip. And, and just that short circuits a lot of the problems that we encounter in magical training. I have also shared, uh, in, in Tito, we have, we have mutual friends in, uh, in New Mexico who are adepts in the, in the magical arts. Uh, and this, uh, this, this magician who is, uh, who is uh, a teacher and a very experienced practitioner uh, loves this technology. He, he has discovered that it, um, not knowing anything about EJ before he tried it on, he puts it on and says, well, this is a very powerful amulet. And all the, uh, all the, um, the work that he does in ritual magic has become very, um, uh, very smooth and it facilitates it and it's enhanced and strengthened by it, which has actually been my experience too. 
So we have uh, the seeds of uh, magnificent technology, and as more and more people try it and experiment with it, who knows where it can go? I know a lot of people in the fourth way who wish that they had known uh, Gurdjieff, who wish who had they had taken uh, dancing lessons you know, with Gurdjieff. Uh, and uh, I can imagine 20 years from now, 10 years from now, how many people would be wishing that they had uh, done anything with EJ Gold at this point. So, thank you very much. Thank you.